number 11 and they're uh, out on track and uh, preparing themselves for their third ride of the night and uh, say so track conditions just deteriorating a touch here so you're going to have to have your wits about you that's for sure body position on the bike is going to be crucial here Mikkel Mickelson on the inside in red Bartosz Smiles leg out of gate two in blue Anders Thompson going very well tonight Anders Thompson out of gate number three in white and Martin Vasilik likewise going well off the outside in yellow so heat number 11 good looking line up this riders in top form here we go long delay Martin Vasilik's made oh, an absolutely tracking. spectacular oh, start but he's hit a rut oh he's out of shape and he's down He's down, possibly the red lights will come on now. Mickelson's out in front, Schmarslik coming through into second place. Yeah, and as Thompson, the red lights are on, yep. Yeah. Probably just couldn't get himself to his feet. No, yeah, his bike, bike is wedged under the fence. Yeah, bike just yeah. caught under the air fence there. Those air fences are very heavy when they're pinning your bike down like that. Shame for Martin because he made such a terrific start from the outside and now all of a sudden <coughs> with five points he's going to fail to score here. He will be excluded as yeah. a consequence. Under pressure after such a fantastic start but coming from gate four his wheels are in line as he goes across the corner and uh, bike just jumps straight across. But I would argue when we watch this again he moved his body weight back too quickly. Yeah very possibly it is the way that he rides he is there. He sort of yeah, sits he's back, not forward straight. on the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the rut I think that we saw Robert Lambert hit on the entry to the to the turn earlier in the uh, meeting. Yeah, there, there. You're right. He's a little bit upright. That is sort of that is his style to ride like that. But uh, definitely caught out by a rut on the inside there. Yeah. Just needed to keep himself forward, but very, very tough. Easy sitting here to suggest that, but nonetheless. Disappointment for Martin Vashlik. He is, uh, it's confirmed that he will be out of the rerun. And uh, as you rightly point out, Chris, it's uh, putting him under some pressure now with uh, a couple of rides to come. But he does have the comfort of five points. He's had a strong start. And uh, as I say, yeah, the sort of form he's in, he has every yeah. chance of making the semi final. He didn't qualify strongly in Prague either, but he went on to win the meeting. So, Yeah, exactly. So he has the resolve and he has the character to certainly bounce back. And he's got two more qualifiers to come. And uh, he'll be looking towards those. So um, we'll see Martin out in heat 13 off gate number three. So he trudges his way back to the pit area after an unfortunate, um, uh, unfortunate uh, spill in the first corner. And, uh, Phil Morris there just uh, having a chat with Martin. Clearly frustrated about the fact he got caught out by the track. Uh, we are hoping to hear from Martin if at all possible, but uh, we're waiting here on that. We will react, we'll react as quickly as we possibly can because riders are now making their way back round to the start line. But um, uh, not the ideal thing to trudge back up that hill. That certainly gets a heart rate pacing, that's for sure. Yeah. So uh, riders are back up at tapes so for heat number 11. And uh, we'll just have the three of them out here. And um, uh, for the second time of asking then, heat number 11. And uh, there will be no rider on the inside gate this time. Excuse me. Outside. Sorry, I've got the wrong way around, haven't I? Yeah, it's uh, Mikkel Mickelson on the inside, so there is a rider there, funny enough. There is a rider in gate number two as well in blue. That's Bartosz Smarslik, Anders Thompson off uh, gate number three in white, and the excluded Martin Vasilik is back in the pits. Here we go. Tapes are up. Mikkel Mickelson's made a fine start on the inside. Bartosz Smarslik settles in second place. Anders Thompson there searching for a way through. Can't quite do it. Bartosz Smarslik hasn't won a race tonight, but once again is in a point scoring position in second place Mickelson though out in front now being chased hard by the championship leader can he stay there because Smarslik once again is looking very oh, here he comes what a move up the inside from Smarslik had him lined up he hasn't got there yet and I think he's got more work to do but this is just another battling performance from Smarslik he's not dominating this year and he's having to work very hard for every single point but that's his diminutive style back in the seat now he's going to have a chance to run across the corner. He's hey! done the job. Brilliant work. Superb effort there from Smarslik. Mickelson opened the door. Smarslik there was ready to pounce. He's had to work hard for it, but you cannot afford to give Bartosz Smarslik any racing room at all. Gratefully received by the championship leader. Fast himself to the front and wins his first race of the evening.
Bartosz Marsley back to winning ways, moving on to seven points. It's more like it for him. You said he hasn't had his own way tonight. He has had to work awfully hard for his points this evening. But I sense he doesn't mind working hard for points. He almost seems to enjoy it in truth. Out in front then, three points for Smarslik. Second place, Mickelson, two points. Anders Thompson back in third, one point for him. And Martin Vesely excluded from the initial running of heat number 11. But uh, Bartosz Smarslik there. Mickelson made half a mistake there, you know with Smarslik right behind him. Yeah, I think Smarslik was putting him under that little bit of pressure and I think maybe he panicked a little bit just missing turns three and four on the third lap. But uh, yeah, Smarslik had to work so hard. This is where he's just making ground up, working the inside. At this point, he doesn't get the job done. He realises he's got too much traction. But there, that was the important part. Yeah. Just caught the edge of the dirt. That just gave him that little bit of extra drive, a little bit extra speed just to run across the front there of Mikkel Mickelson. Already you can see Mickelson's head just turning, saying, do you know that? That's a mistake from me, that is. He ran too wide, and um, you cannot do that when you've got Smarslik behind you. And um, uh, tough speedway racing here. Smarslik certainly very much involved with his pit crew. Just um, uh, a little soul-searching going on there, but um, nonetheless, with two inside gates to come, sitting pretty on seven points.